Hey, hey, just getting in from a 12 hour work day. Two jobs today, so I'm a little bit tired, but I'm not gonna let that discourage me because today was a great buy day. You see, at lunch, I took a trip down to the thrift store and yet again my Salvation Army paid off. Um, no movies, no no DVDs, no Blu-rays. Um, there was, I was trying to think, there was there was a couple of DVDs that I was kinda humming and hawing about but decided against them but I did come across a book and that is The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King, the hardcover edition, so I picked that up. Um, when it comes to books I always uh, get the hardcover edition if it's available. Um, and there was a I can't remember what it was, it was a I don't know, there's a series of books, there's apparently five in the series, and there was a box set with them, and they were all in really, really good condition, um, and it was a fantasy series, never heard of it before, but I was like looking at this, and I was like immediately drawn to it, but I looked it up, and it is available in hardcover, so I didn't get it, then because they were individually pricing each book out of the five so it's a five book set and it's like yes but you can buy any one of them separate if you want so whatever that's that's their prerogative if they want to do that but I mean it was likely going to be costing about 10 bucks or something like that for I think for the uh, box set and I wasn't yeah I was humming you know humming and hawing yes the new new that set new would have been about 26 dollars roughly plus shipping depending on where you get it. So yeah, there's a deal there, but yeah, I looked in and I was like, hardcovers are the way I go. I, you know, I said I, I buy hardcovers, so I'm not gonna waste money on something that I'm just gonna have to upgrade later. Um, but that being said, I looked up the hardcovers and they're like going for like 20 bucks a pop plus shipping. And some places had it even more expensive, so yeah, for me to get that'd be like a hundred bucks. So, ouch. Keep my my eyes open and see if I can track them down over time. Though I'll probably forget about them by next week. But what I was really stoked to find was I was looking through the video game section, and most of it was sports as usual. A few PC games here and there, but then there was this. The section, it was like, wait a minute, those are factory sealed Nintendo DS games. Now they had, they've priced them a little bit higher than normally. Normally they're three dollars, maybe four dollars for a video game. They price these at five dollars, but I decided to grab them anyways because they were, you know, they're sealed, they're brand new. Why not? So I picked, and I, you know what? I haven't heard. Of, well, I've heard of one of these games, but the rest, yeah, no idea don't know anything about them so yeah if you know something about any of these DS games comment below first one is exit DS <laughs> it's a Tato game I have no idea it says as professional escape artist mr. escape you must maneuver through burning buildings and sinking ships dodging disaster and saving survivors along the way mm puzzle game of some sort. I think the DS is perfectly suited for that kind of a thing. Next up is Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Now this looks like it's an RPG. So that's pretty cool. Next, I don't even know what this says. It's Zubo? Yeah, it must say Zubo. And I have no idea. It says, Befriend the Zubos, Battle to Save Zubalon. So, I guess it's like Pokemon type thing, except the guys look like this. Oh, they look like me characters. Uh, next up, and this is the one that I kind of know, 
and that's Populous DS. So, and then finally, there is the Legend of Kage Two. Again, this looks like uh, an RPG of some sort. Some action RPG, maybe. Hard to say. But yeah, I figure five dollars a pop for Nintendo DS games. I'm willing to to drop that, no problem. Lickety split. So yeah, great buys. Love it when I can find some great buys. I don't know that this is necessary. Other than the Stephen King book, I would have bought the Stephen King book, but. I'm not sure I would have bought those DS games otherwise, so I wouldn't say it's necessarily saving me money because I bought them when I probably wouldn't have otherwise, but hey, I'm a collector. That's what I do. I buy stuff and then I put them on my shelf and then I play them and I have fun and I enjoy myself because that's what life's all about. So until next time, guys, enjoy yourselves. Peace.